cystitis. So I'm thinking she fasts to take the strain off the gallbladder. We'll give her some IV fluids to prevent dehydration and some morphine for the pain. That's all good. You've forgotten an important thing. Oh, the patient's currently breastfeeding, so yeah, we need to take that into account. And change the meds accordingly, that's right? Yeah, of course. Sorry, um, I'll action that. for a coffee. Well, you've come to the right place. Mum. <laughs> what are you, the queen of beverages? And is mm. breakfast, is that your second or your second? I came here to apologise. That's nice, darling. I may have gone too far with what I said last night. Um, it is your money. <laughs> yes, it is. You're right, it's, it's my money. Um, and Maeve suggested that I come and make things right. Oh, Maeve suggested that, did she? Yeah. I agreed. OK, I, I, I went too far. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm just worried about you and your money. Eric and his pyramid scheme. Up, up, up. Apology not accepted. There's still some cold coffee in that cup. You can have that one. down and put our feet in and the little fish just did the rest. They just nibble, nibble, nibble. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but... Hi. Sorry, Quinn. No? Um, don't mean to interrupt your little chat, but Mr Grey, I am here to... Call me Andy. Everyone does. OK, Andy. I am here to take some blood. Sure. Go for it. Anyway, it's a weirder sensation, but your feet feel amazing afterwards. So you do it again? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. That hurts? I'm a human pincushion already, so... <sighs> Very sorry, but this is important. And we have pretty good access on your other arm. We could try there, even it out. Or we could just, yeah, stick with where you are. You don't really need both arms, do you, Andy? You're not a musician. Or are you? Uh, I used to play the trumpet, but uh, I don't like tuning my own horn. <laughs> nice. Very modest. Well, soon enough, you'll be so busy staring at your awesome new face, you won't even notice your arms. Uh, didn't we already do bloods? Oh, yeah, we did, but we had to do a coax screen. Sorry. It's just to make sure everything's all tickety boo for your surgery. Tickety-boo. Hey. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just trying to get my heat around this whole surgery thing. Ice red one. Mm-hmm. So you're going to come down here with the face? <sighs> I've just got a lot riding on this. Yeah, I bet. It's a pretty historic moment. Yeah. I'm so nervous, especially after the whole Brit thing. It'll, it'll be fine, though. Drew and Chris are ready for it. Yeah. I've just got no room for error. And as I said, I've got a lot riding on this. Yeah, I know. I know, but if you're worried about Drew, don't be. He's in a really good place, and it's massive for him too, so he'll bring his A-game. OK. You're right. It's going to be a success. It is. Just <laughs> believe it. <laughs> Look. Heal them with kindness, Too huh? much. You no, know, it's good. Yeah, because I'm not a pushover. I know. It's just, you know, these rich shows are like little kids, and I mean that in the nicest way. They just need, like... A little bit of a confidence boost. Mm. Tell me about it. You need some love too. What? Oh, no, no, no. I just, um, I'm just sick of feeling like I mess up everywhere I turn. No, I wouldn't say that. I would. OK, well, we're allowed to make mistakes. My mother is barely talking to me. And I'm rebuilding my marriage from the ground up. What else? Oh, oh, yeah, that major friendship. Well, I thought all of that was on the mend, though. Not like that explosion sound. That's like the worst one that I've heard. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> That's me and Louie for, you know, five years. <laughs> hey, look, if it makes you feel any better, you know, I think I'm really screwing up as Dale in. What? Mm. No, you're great. I don't think Madonna thinks so. Oh, well... Look, I guess it's hard letting go of the reins. But you really are doing great. <laughs> Dale is not for the faint-hearted, and you're definitely finding your feet. Thanks, Nick. And I'm here for you if you ever need a confidence boost. Oh, thank you. You are welcome. OK, now off I go to ruin some more important relationships. Oh, Wish me luck. <laughs> yes, it's a big day for Shortland Street and an even bigger day for our face transplant recipient. How long is the surgery? There are two operations. Firstly, removing the face from the donor, then the transplant itself. 
both require a lot of very detailed work and that'll take anywhere from 16 to 30 hours to complete. Oh, surely surgeons can't work for that amount of time non-stop? No, and of course we wouldn't attempt that. We have several teams ready to go and we'll be working on relays, ensuring everyone gets the breaks they need. Still sounds exhausting. I'm sure it will be. And several stages are time sensitive. For instance, keeping the facial tissue in peak condition once it's removed from the donor. But we're very well prepared. Well, a very complex surgery that's never been attempted in this country before. Dr Warner and I are very confident we have the right skills and the right people. We're excited to get started. This transplant is going to transform a young man's life. And speaking of young lives, here's one of our registrars from our new training program. This is Stella Rehana, who will be assisting me. Hi. Hey, Stella, how are you feeling about the face transplant? Uh, I'm, I'm a part of a very terrific team. And under Dr McCaskill's expert leadership, I'm looking forward to an incredible outcome for our patient. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, I haven't. So quite a big opportunity for someone so young. Oh, my age doesn't come into it, only my skill. Is that what the previous registrar, Brett Adams, thought when she was thrown to the deep end last week? I believe the patient died on the table while she was operating. Yikes. Uh, well, Brett was a very, sorry, is a very capable surgeon. Ms Adams was not at fault. That situation was unavoidable. And we're not here to discuss that matter. We're here to talk about the upcoming groundbreaking surgery. Oh, Dr Warner. How do you feel about today's challenges? Sounds pretty risky. What if something goes wrong? Well, uh, any operation carries an element of risk. She seems nervous. Hope you can handle it. She'll be fine. She's a lot of pressure. If Stella she can't take the heat, she's got no place in the operating room, okay? Okay, sorry. Nothing can go wrong, all right? I've played out every possible scenario in my head and every case we win. So don't worry. <laughs> 